This is hands down the best way to do that. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? My name is Olivio. I'm a professional designer. Let's get started. Today, I will answer some of the most asked questions under my YouTube videos and in my Facebook group. And the first one is I've made some beautiful adjustments to my photos. How do I copy them to other photos? The answer to that might surprise you because Affinity Photo is not really the right software for that. Affinity Photo is made to work on individual art projects on individual files. So the better choice to do that is to use software like Photolab or Luminar or Lightroom, any kind of software like that that is made to process a lot of photos and adjust them nicely. Here are the features you want to look for. It is very important that you're able to save your own presets from your adjustments. Of course, it is also very important to be able to copy your adjustments over to other pictures. Also, don't forget about my weekly challenge and my live stream. Another function you want to have is to make virtual copies. The reason for that is because this allows you to make different versions in different styles of the same image, compare them to each other and select the best one so that you can then copy that style over to the rest of your images. And of course, because you can do all of that, this will help you a lot keeping up your quality and visual style. This is very important when you, for example, adjust hundreds of photos, you do a wedding shoot or to have consistency on your website, on your Instagram, on your social media accounts. Let's go to the second question. And that is why can't you do these things you show to us in Nick Collection just in Affinity Photo? The answer to that, I want to explain to you on the example of cars. With any car, you can move from A to B, but this is just the bare minimum. Our photos are more than just the bare minimum. They need some delicate work and artistic expression. And software reflects that in the way that every software is built in a different way with a different philosophy behind that. Think about, for example, a sports car compared to a city bus. A sports car is fast. It's made to impress, but it only has space for two people. It is not ideal if you have hundreds of people you need to move from A to B, but also from the style. A city bus is built for purpose. It doesn't have to look good. It doesn't have to be nice. It has to be practical. A sports car, on the other hand, doesn't have to be practical. It has to be nice and impressive and maybe loud and fast. Very, very different thing. Now, if you think about the software, compare, for example, Nick Collection with Luminar. A lot that you find in Nick Collection is built to simulate analog photo processing. You can simulate classic analog films. You can simulate classic analog methods, like for example, the wet plate for black and white photography. You have cross processing. So things you would have done in an analog lab in the past. If you compare that to Luminar AI, this software is made to be popping fast, loud to create things that impress people on Instagram, on your Facebook. You have an overcast rainy day and you turn it into a beautiful sunset with amazing clouds, some birds in the sky, reflections in the water. Everything is amazing. This is what you do with Luminar and AI helps with that. And the way the software is built helps with that. Nick Collection not made for this kind of thing. So you can see different softwares have different purposes. So just because they might have similar sliders does not mean they will guide you towards the same kind of results. Let's go to the last question. And this is what is my workflow when I work on my photos? I usually shoot project based, which means I go to a place with an idea in mind and there I shoot raw so I can heavily edit the photos afterwards. The first thing I do when I come home is to load all of these raws into Photolab. First of all, to make a selection of which of them are good, which of them are sharp, which of them I like the dynamic and expression of them. I take a lot of photos on a location, hundreds of them usually. And then I select maybe five of them to really finally edit them. Then the next step can go into one of two ways. 
either I go into affinity photo if I need to do some major adjustments for example there is a car driving into the photo I need to remove that or a person or there's something in the sky things like that like really major things I need to change about the photo then again about the style and the feel of that I often go back into Nick collection especially color effects for the style for the colors for the analog softness and warmness but also I really love the plugin that is also part of Nick collection which is called Viveza which allows you to beautifully redirect the light situation you can actually use just one raw to create an amazing photo that looks like an HDR picture but a lot more natural and another plugin in Nick collection is for perspective correction this plugin is extremely powerful to give you very good and easy results this is my workflow usually I have multiple final versions I let them sit for a day or two and come back to them and then I select what I actually think is the best result that's it for today thank you very much for watching I hope my answers could help you see you soon bye